Question 23. Here is a pattern of number pairs. We've got A's and we've got B's. And we need to find a rule. So the rule is basically saying to get B, what do you do to A? So you times A by something and then you subtract something from that. Well, this is one of those questions you've just got to look at the numbers and see where it takes you. See if you can spot anything. Well, you may notice that 9, 19, 29 and 39 are all one less than numbers in the 10 times table. So 9 is one less than 10, 19 is one less than 20, 29 is one less than 30 and 39 is one less than 40. So all we've got to do now is just think, well, hang on a minute. To get from 1 to 10, you times by 10. To get from 2 to 20, you times by 10. To get from 3 to 30, you times by 10. To get from 4 to 40, you times by 10. So it looks as though we're doing whatever A is, which is these numbers, and we're times in them all by 10, which is why 10 can go in there. But once we've times them all by 10, we get these numbers. But to get from these numbers to the actual numbers which are where b is here, we've then got to take away 1. So 10 take away 1 is 9, 20 take away 1 is 19, 30 take away 1 is 29, and 40 take away 1 is 39. So it looks like we're then taking away 1. So to summarise, if you start with a and you do 10 of the number, and then subtract 1, you get what B is. So A times 10 take away 1 equals B. So let's just double check. So if you start with 1, 10 of those is 10, subtract 1 is 9. So that works. Start with 2, 10 of those is 20, take away 1 is 19. So that works. Start with 3, 10, of, 10 times 3 is 30, take away 1 is 29. So that works. Start with 4. 10 times 4 is 40. Take away 1 is 39. So that also works. So our rule is B is equal to 10 lots of whatever A is, subtract 1.